Hello and welcome to the annual Hart Men's Lacrosse Media Day. I'm your host and Hart correspondent, Reagan Harrell. Next up, we are joined by head coach of the Clark University Pride, head coach Tucker LaBelle and senior Drew Dornbush. Coach Drew, thank you so much for joining us. How are y'all doing today? Great, man. Good, Great. Good. It's another uh, another beautiful day in Dubuque, Iowa to uh, to get better and prepare for the season ahead. Love it. Well, uh, Coach, last year uh, was uh, – I'm sorry, last year uh, for you was your first year leading the program, year two coming up. How excited are you for year two with the prod? Uh, beyond excited, really beyond excited. You know, last year uh, we, we stepped into uh, the mindset of, of kind of rebuilding our culture and rebuilding our brand and um, really rebuilding our team in a lot of ways. Um, we, we brought in, you know, 10 new guys in this class. Um, and, and in that 10, the, the skill level of this team has has increased, you know, tenfold. Uh, you know, a lot of teams will, will bring in five to 10 guys a year and, and they kind of maintain where they're at. But uh, we took a very big step on the skill side with that recruiting class and really elevated our not only our team, but our, our culture, our values um, and what we want to see moving forward from this Pride program. Very nice. Coach, introduce us to Drew. Tell us what he means to the Pride men's lacrosse team on and off the field. Yeah, yeah. So Drew Dornbush here. Uh, Drew, the, the the funny story we always talk about here is uh, in, in my late days playing and Drew's early days, we, we crossed over actually as, uh, as teammates at one point, which makes this relationship uh, extra special. Drew is, is in his fifth year here. Uh, he's a, a native of Minnesota, um, has, has been a core to this team since day one, uh, captain again this year. Um, and one of our older guys who really expects the best from all of our younger guys and, and pushes them to always strive to be their best. Um, and, and truly a, a very much a, a glue guy for this team and anyone who's played against him, uh, one heck of an LSM and defender. Absolutely. Drew, senior year coming up. What do you hope to accomplish this year uh, with your teammates in your final year with the prod? Yeah, I'm just, just looking to finish out strong. Like what Tucker said, you know, we're just kind of in that rebuilding mindset and you know, we've seen a lot of improvement over like the year that this mindset has been introduced, you know, going out, being more as a team, team bonding events, like we're attending other Clark sports sporting events with everyone. And it's just, it's just been more exciting being more as like one whole unit than, you know, we've ever been. So definitely looking forward to just playing more as a team, seeing just like the improvements as that as a whole. Yeah. Coach said you're originally from Minnesota. What part of Minnesota are you from and how'd you end up at Clark? I'm from kind of northwest area of Minnesota, about like half hour, 45 minutes from Minneapolis, St. Paul area. I came from, you know, big hockey and like lacrosse culture from where I was from. So it was just, you know, going to camps and clinics and then doing travel ball. So going to like tournaments across like the country and just like getting recruited and finding just my goal was to stay in the Midwest. So I was looking like staying around, you know, closer to home, but not like really that close to home. So Clark was kind of like that happy medium for me and just like, you know, taking the visit and, you know, meeting Tucker and all the other, you know, all the other guys that were here before. It was just a really cool experience. Very nice. You mentioned earlier getting to go to uh, you know the games, being part of uh, the, the culture and everything w with the pride. And I'm sure you got to go to a lot of women's basketball games. They are the defending NAI national champion. How exciting was that for the campus and just seeing that that team uh, d do what they did? It was really it was really special, you know, for the whole school and uh, for student body as well. It was just it showed that, you know, that's possible for other programs to do it now if we just kind of just how do I say this portray or just like uh I can't build towards that yeah build towards that yeah, yeah I'll, towards I'll, I'll echo what, what Drew said there um having a, a national championship team on campus and a team that returns in the you know the top five national rankings in, in any sport um you know really pushes everyone to to chase their goals harder and, and to climb um, you know, when you see that type of culture day to day and, and it's something you interact with so often on campus, uh, it, it fills, a, fills us with, you know, pride for the program here um, and for all of our sports programs, but uh, also reminds us that, you know, we, we are all capable of achieving those goals um, and, and just seeing the hard work they put in uh, day in, day out and, and the energy they brought to this campus and the, and the culture of this campus was, was unbelievable. 
Coach, you mentioned you uh, played at Clark. You got to play uh, with Drew in your last year. Tell us a little bit about the Clark community and the level of support each team feels from fellow student athletes and the community at Clark. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we're we're a, a university of about 80% student athletes. We kind of hover around that 80% mark right there. Um, you know, we're one of those schools that's very, you know, high academic achieving. And so we, we bring in a really nice combination of, uh, I would say, kind of intelligent student athletes um, from all over the country, all over the world. We have a, a huge international population, um, not only across our campus, but on our team and our program. Uh, the, the support is very different here. Um, there's a there's a, a much greater sense of community, for lack of better terms, that that people, they want to see you learn, not just regurgitate information and pass a test. Uh, and I think that that speaks to kind of who we are. Um, our professors, our coaches, our staff will, will stay in touch with, to, with students for 10, 15, 20 years down the road after graduation, um, which I, I think is a big reason why, you know, we have so many coaches like myself who are here who are alum um, and, and did come from this this community and we're, we're products of this Clark community. Uh, we, we decided to stick around because of the great experience we had as student athletes here. And uh, we want to kind of give back and, and kind of give to the next generation of Clark student athletes. Very nice. Uh, the, the Buick, the Buick, correct. Dubuque. Dubuque. Very, okay. South, uh, South, South Georgia accent. Just, just yeah. make it here. But, but uh, it's a co college town uh, has a great uh, uh, feel of, uh, in the in the community, how does that help with uh, recruiting? When it's like, hey, you're coming to a college town, you're gonna get that college experience. Absolutely, we are we're we're blessed. Uh, we're we're beyond blessed to be in the setting that we are as a university in the town. Uh, you know, the city of Dubuque is the oldest town on this side of the Mississippi River for westward expansion. Um, you know, I always say that the story is we have a, a hotel downtown that hosted Al Capone and Abe Lincoln and is still open today. Um, but that. Really speaks to, you know, we were bigger than Chicago as far as U.S. expansion goes at one point, and you you still feel that today. Um, you know, our universities have been here since the early to mid-1800s all across the board. Um, you know, we've we've kind of stood the test of time, not only Clark, but other, other regional universities here. Um, you know, it's unique in the sense that we are, you know, maybe three blocks apart from two other universities. Um, your, your social life, your campus life feels much greater than just our Clark campus. Uh, because you have the opportunity to take classes at the other universities as part of our agreement, um, your your friend group spans much further than just Clark. You get to know athletes from other sports and other schools. Um, you know your your student athlete population and your student body population is you know multi thousand at any time in this small Midwest town. And you know this this town of sixty thousand uh, when when schools in session and and sports are going on across all the universities here you really feel a sense of pride in the community for the athletics here. Um, it's, it's an athletic based town for a lot of, a lot of reasons. Um, it has ties to the, you know, original major league baseball. Um, we have professional hockey here in town. We, we have pretty much everything you need from a sports side and the community really invests into sports. It doesn't matter what it is, football, baseball, basketball, lacrosse. Uh, they want to see Dubuque regional sports thrive. Um, and if you drive down, you know, our main street uh, in season for us, you'll see a billboard with Clark lacrosse on it. You'll see a billboard with basketball on it. Um, you really feel the presence of collegiate athletics in this town. Um, and and location wise, you know, we're a mile from Illinois, a mile from Wisconsin. We're on the furthest corner of Iowa, surrounded by lakes, rivers, bluffs, um, gorgeous territory. And, and it really makes for an incredible setting for a, a college athlete. I'll have to get up there sometime, maybe uh, when it gets a little bit warmer down here, Lake Wells, Florida. I'm enjoying my 65 and, and sunny today. But, uh, like, coach, last year your team won the uh, Hart Musco Team Sportsmanship Award. Uh, for your team's uh, superb character on and off the field, what did that honor mean for you, uh, the program, the athletic department? Yeah, I think it, it means a lot. Um, it means a lot to me. Uh, personally, you know, I've always really believed in in character over everything in sports. Um, I, I think sportsmanship and character and the idea that, you know, any college athlete is a role model to somebody. And we, we carry that responsibility um, and that gift, really, you know, for our guys who are, are freshmen on the team. Um, their role models for youth in their community, for our guys who are seniors on the team, their role models for our freshmen. Uh, everyone should be putting out some type of sportsmanship and character towards, you know, whoever they're, whoever's looking up to them in a sense. So for us to win that award was was really great. And I think it was a, a step in the right direction for the kind of culture rebrand we wanted to do. Um, that's an award I expect to and want to win every year as a program. That's an important one to me. Um, it says a lot to who we are and what we stand for, you know, as far as community uh, goes for us now and getting involved. Um, 
you know, we recently inked a deal with um, the leisure services parks and rec department in town to start regularly offering lacrosse to the Dubuque community. Um, our players will be coaching local players in town here and youth and working with them and being able to mentor them. Um, we go out into the community and do community service um, on several local land plots here. Uh, most recently, man, we had guys working at the Humane Society. We had guys uh, out there working on a local farm, trying to understand the agricultural side of it. Um, so we really try to stay as involved as, as we can in the community. We, you know, we want to build up our brand recognition as a team in town, um, but also show that we we care far more for our community than just our campus. Love to hear that. Drew, uh, how long have you been playing lacrosse and what made, made you want to pick up the stick? My whole life. Uh, so my uncle was actually the first person that taught me how to play lacrosse. He was played up in Wisconsin. He was just defenseman just like me so he kind of just taught me the ropes of like passing catching all that type of stuff so I just fell in love with it right from the get-go basically very nice uh you mentioned uh your uncle was a def defenseman there you're a defender uh obviously what is it about that that side side of the ball that, that made you want to be a defender other than uh your uncle being a, a really good defenseman too uh well, one, I get to hit people. That's one thing. Uh, <laughs> but also, I just like, you know, just just like the footwork and just all the, just like just being, you know, like a very important role. Defense is, to me, is a very important role into like winning games. So I just, I, I enjoy being, you know, kind of like that spotlight to, you know, hopefully close out a game for a win and that type of stuff. So I just like, really enjoy it. Can you tell us a little bit uh, about the area, Co Coach? Uh, tell us about it. what's it like from a student athlete standpoint. You and me or Drew on this one? Uh, Drew, my bad. Yeah, student athlete perspective on oh, the area. Oh, uh, sorry. Can you repeat the question? Was okay. Uh, yeah, I was, I was just asking uh, uh, the, the the area uh, of uh, D Dubuque. I, did, I get it right. Yeah, there we go. Now, and now I'm getting. Now I'm getting. But the area of Dubuque, from a student athlete uh, standpoint, uh, what what's that area like? Yeah. So, like what Tucker mentioned, you know, three colleges around here, so it's a big college area. So, I mean, no matter where you go, whether it's you know filling up your gas or going to the grocery store, like there's always going to be college kids around. So you kind of feel comfortable, you know, with people around your age that you get to meet new people, new and exciting people, and just feeling like you get to be you and not like somebody that it like is just, Oh, I go to this school and that type of stuff. So I just, and everywhere, like, you know, there's areas to explore and like all the other areas in Dubuque, it's just exciting. Very nice coach. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, this, this year's team. Who are some returners and leaders that are going to have big seasons for Clark? Yeah, absolutely. I think, I mean, Drew, obviously, you know, first and foremost on that returning list uh, comes back to us, um, for his, his last year eligibility. And, you know, we're beyond happy to have him as a captain and a leader on this team. Um, Justice White, who joined us several years back, was a, a transfer from an in-conference team as well. Um, incredible Dodger, strong midfielder, great work ethic um, out of Spokane, Washington originally. Um, you know, Maurice Harrison, again, another defender joining us for his last year eligibility. Really excited to have him. Um, Jack Fritz in goal, who's a, a sophomore returning, um, had a had a really good couple of games and really standout games last year, specifically to kind of win some accolades. Um, and then I think I'll add to that list as well. Uh, uh, Matt Archer, who is a, a junior college transfer from upstate New York, um, one of our attackmen, just a, a guy that will put his body on the line day in, day out and, and really work for whatever the team goal may be. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm leaving off some guys there, but those are really guys that, that come to my mind as as big, big returners and, and big culture guys. Awesome. Well, Coach Drew, thank you so much for the time. Best of luck this season. Thank you.